Welcome everyone to 12 News at 10. Tonight's big story, danger for drivers. Road rage incidents have hit an all-time high. Tonight, the Governor's Office of Highway Safety reporting the most road rage incidents ever on record in 2021. That's up 23% from the year before. Good evening, I'm Tram Mai. So why are these cases on the rise? Team 12's Michael Doudna is here with the answer and ways for you to avoid becoming part of the problem. Michael? Yeah, Tram, everyone has been cut off on the road, gotten frustrated behind the wheel. But more than ever before, well, that has boiled over into road rage. And some of the choices have cost lives. 622 times. You're accused of murder in the first degree. 622 incidents of road rage. The fallout puts people behind bars, wrecks cars, and leaves some families with a hole that can never be filled. I think the numbers need to be a wake up call. It's something Stacy Wales knows all too well. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. In November, her brother Chris Pelkey, a veteran, former missionary, and uncle, was shot and killed in a road rage shooting on Germain Road. One decision can just wreak havoc. And now her family is left missing his smile, living through holidays without her children's favorite uncle home to play. Santa does not grant the gift of bringing back a loved one for Christmas. They don't understand the consequences. Alberto Gutierrez is the director of the governor's office of highway safety. He says these road rage decisions are never worth it. So they flip you, so they gave you all kinds of signals. So what? Gutierrez and Stacy believe that a divided and stressful world is partially to blame for these record numbers. People are just ready to crack. But at the end of the day, even in our most frustrating moments, we always have a choice. We can choose not to react. We can choose to turn the other cheek. Um, and we can just choose to live peacefully and with love. Now, safety experts say there are things you can do to avoid becoming a victim of road rage. First, give yourself enough time so you don't feel rushed and don't need to be in a hurry to get somewhere. Also, if someone's tailgating you, just let them go by. And if someone does try to engage, well, don't. Don't make eye contact and just try to de-escalate. We're in Phoenix. Michael Doudna, 12 News.